What attracted me, I believe first attracted me to Michael, was his Christian values. And that was very important to me that I um, would have a godly man who would be the leader of our home. And when I realized all that he did uh, in that respect, it was, it was what I knew God wanted for me, because that's what I needed. Marriage is his like centerpiece for how he wants us to um, learn, to grow, and it's not, again, you don't find, quote, the right person. I think marriage is about becoming <laughs> the right person, first of all with the Lord, and then with your mate. Jack was very handsome, and uh, I wanted a boy that, uh, that loved the Lord, and uh, went to church, and didn't swear, and didn't smoke. I had, I had real ideals. Uh, for what I wanted. Uh, I think what attracted me to Kathy was her smile uh, when I first recognized her or knew her or saw her. Um, she has a great personality uh, and I observed her in church uh, seemed to have great Christian values and uh, that's what attracted me and that still doesn't drive me crazy. <laughs> I'm glad to hear we that. We could talk about a few other things that do, but no, let's not go there. <laughs> you know, you don't really know what's ahead when you start out, but it, it's really the, the marriage is the, the journey that we're making with God. Um, it's the same relationship as Christ and the church. And what God does is he brings you out of an old life into a, a new life to eventually to a promised land but you have to journey through a wilderness first mm -hmm. and it is through that process where you become unified and passionate it's by struggling through things together for each other. Glenn and I both committed early on, especially since he became saved, that we're not going anywhere. Right. You know, we're going to sit down, we're going to talk this thing through because we've both been married before. We, we have eyes enough to see when you're going down a bad path or making good, bad choices. And so we try to at least when you see those things, those roadblocks coming just to stop because we said that no matter what, um, Satan's not going to get our marriage because we see too many times that when Satan gets your marriage, he gets your children. And I'm not willing to take that risk or to give my children up. So that's been both of our commitment is that um, whatever it takes that, you know, the enemy's not going to win. So that's been important to both of us. Now when I think of the um if we have a little disagreement, I think, hey, you're the one that prayed for him. <laughs> you're responsible what to God got? <laughs> for what I got. And I'm very glad I got him. Just